Okay, today I'm cooking a simple dish called Nero Mian. This is the beef flank. This is um, turnip, half of the turnip, although we probably won't be using this much. This is star anise over here. We have some dried chili, very critical to the dish. It's uh, always, almost always made hot. This is ginger. And uh, we're going to chop this stuff up and uh, make a soup out of it. So here we have the prepped ingredients. We have essentially the uh, white turnip that's been diced. The flank steak that's been uh, roughly diced into largest pieces. pieces. We also have the uh, ginger. There are two pieces here, fairly large, generous pieces. And um, about two to three cloves of the star anise. Um, and aside about the flank steak, this flank steak is um, sort of a special portion that contains a lot of tendons. And uh, over the course of cooking, these tendons will um, sort of melt down into a delicious gelatinous uh, mass. So it will be extra tasty. But if you can't find flank steak like this in your regular supermarket, um, chuck beef with um, you know good bits of marbling or fat or tendon is also a good substitute. So at this point, we're going to add the liquid ingredients. So for the liquid ingredients, we're going to add regular soy sauce. As you can see, this is naturally brewed Kikoman soy sauce. Um, we're going to add a bit of vinegar. Um, usually I prefer a black rice vinegar that you can find at Asian supermarkets, but today I only have the uh, regular um, Japanese style rice vinegar that's just uh, clear but works almost just as well and then we have some rice wine so I'm going to add probably let's see maybe three or four tablespoons of soy sauce to one tablespoon of rice vinegar to probably Again, two or three tablespoons of rice wine. And then uh, fill the rest of the pot up to just covering the ingredients here with water. As you can see here, we've added the liquid ingredients, which were again uh, three to four tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of the rice wine, or of the uh, rice vinegar and uh, two to three tablespoons of the rice wine and the rest is just water just bi basically covering the ingredients and in addition we'll focus in here I've added also several pods of dried chili which will make this soup nice and hot and at this point I'm just going to turn on the heat and um, bring this whole pot to a boil and then I'm going to, most importantly, turn the heat down so that we can essentially simmer the soup until um, everything is uh, nice and um, cooked through and tender. Here I have some uh, roughly chopped scallions, about three sprigs worth. And I'm going to use this to garnish the beef noodle soup when it's done. Here you can see that um, the beef noodle soup has come to a boil and I've turned the heat down to a nice uh, medium. And we're just going to let this continue to cook for, oh, you know, maybe another hour or so. Uh, just roughly 
a uh, medium simmer and then we're going to check it for seasoning. Uh, in the interim, I've added probably you know, two teaspoons of salt just because I don't think the um, soy sauce is uh, quite enough. At this point, we're nearly done. So the beef noodle soup has been cooking for roughly one and a half hours, a little bit longer than expected. But um, I've tested it and added a little bit of salt um, to um, make it a little saltier. And um, it's nearly done. Here we have some uh, Chinese noodles that I got fresh from a uh, actually a dumpling restaurant in Chinatown and um, these noodles are great it's extremely uh, robust and chewy in a good way and it doesn't really fall apart like uh, many of the other um, sort of uh, le noodles that are not as well made but um, here I'm just boiling it in some hot water and it's been frozen so it'll take a while for it to completely uh, defrost and starts cooking but um, that's about it and this is it this is the beef noodle soup over noodles and um, I've added some fresh scallions for garnish